Hello friends and welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we're going to make some savory French toast. We got three eggs, a quarter teaspoon each of salt and dried thyme. And we're also going to season that up with some black pepper. Remember, we're making a savory French toast. All right, and then like anything else, you're just going to go ahead and beat them up. Beat them really, really well. And uh, you don't have to be too crazy about it because we'll be adding milk and beating them some more. Well, you know what I mean. Now add some milk, about a third of a cup. You can go a little more, maybe a little bit less. That depends on your taste, but part of the reason for the milk is to make it thin enough that the bread can absorb it, in case you didn't know that. All right, especially if you have very dry bread. And we're gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese. You could use Romano or nothing at all, but I find that putting the cheese in there gives it another layer of flavor, a little more texture when you fry it. It's, uh, it's actually quite good. This is something that I do with old bread. Although here I have basically a fresh loaf of bread that I bought the day before because I wanted to make this toast. Okay, it's part of another video, but this one is spun out by itself because I really think that it deserves its own attention. And uh, nice, nice crusty bread is the best for this. And we want to cut it a little bit thicker than you would say with sandwich bread. Pre-sliced bread is usually too thin for me. You want it about that thick, about three quarters of an inch. That's it. And since we have three eggs, we should be able to cut this up into about six slices because we can make exactly six of these French toasts. I'm using some nice imported Portuguese olive oil. It's the one I always use. And I'm throwing in some butter. Again, I love the flavor of butter and olive oil together. Whenever I saute things, and especially for things like this, because the oil is part of the flavoring. All right, so go ahead and switch that around. Make sure that the, uh, the fat that you're using is hot enough too. You don't wanna throw bread into oil that's not hot enough to fry. It should sizzle as soon as it hits the pan, okay? And that way there, you're not gonna soak up too much of that oil. And I could have used a lot less oil too. Um, I could have cut it in half at the very least. But I wanted to make sure some of it would bubble up around the edges and cook those edges. So that's the reason for doing it that way, but you don't have to. And these don't take too long to cook, uh, maybe a couple of minutes, especially the first side. That usually goes the fastest, okay? And once you flip them over, uh, they actually finish cooking a lot faster than the first side, okay? So uh, make sure you don't burn them, all right? Make sure that uh, they're cooked, but not burnt. And while they're cooking on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little something extra, which is, well, a little more Parmesan cheese. You could also use Romano, or so any grated cheese would work. All right, and uh, you can put as much or as little as you want. And I have some other ideas too, some other possibilities. But for now, we're just gonna keep it simple and give it that extra flavor, and that's it. Uh, make sure that you cook them through all the way. Check them as you go because like I said the second time around when you flip it or when you make your second batch, they have a tendency to go a little bit faster. All right, so just take a little peek. If it looks good, remove it to a wire rack. I prefer doing it that way to using a paper towel so that they don't get soggy. You want the air to get to them. And that's the reason for using a, a drying rack. And if you're worried about it, just put a paper towel underneath that rack. And that's it. We'll cook up the other half, and here's how they come out. Just think of the possibilities. Little mozzarella cheese, throw them under the broiler. I hope you give it a try. And I hope you come back each week for more great videos made for people who like to cook. Until then, ciao.